YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with a quick fix on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Legend. This is the Legend 2 pressure side pool cleaner. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So today we have another quick fix video for Pentair's Creepy Crawly Legend 2 pressure side pool cleaner. Uh, as you guys can tell, this cleaner is stripped down to pretty much nothing. If you guys want to know how to get to this point, make sure you guys check out the links in the description below. We have a full playlist on tearing this cleaner apart from the outside in. For today's video, we are going to show you guys how to actually get to the turbine shaft shield and actually let you know the importance of this shield and to the functionality of the cleaner. So. Once you guys have already followed all the steps to get down to this point on the cleaner, you guys will tell that the only two parts that are actually holding this shaft shield uh, down to the frame are these two Phillips head screws. So again, make sure you guys always use hand tools. Try not to use any kind of power tools. It is okay for removal, considering that the screw is only going to come out when you're talking about trying to do any type of installation. You want to make sure that you're using a hand tool only as uh, power tools and plastic tend to break. So once you've removed uh, both of the Phillips head screws, which they are self-tapping screws, so there is no pre-done uh, threading in the frame. It merely screws down into the frame itself with these self-tappers. So over time, if you are unable to get these screws back in, unfortunately, the only other option is to either warranty your frame or to buy a new cleaner. So this simple piece of plastic will help maintain the functionality of this turbine. So this is the driving force for this cleaner. So as the water comes through, it actually has a turbine cover here that actually pushes the water at this turbine, which spins it very rapidly, which obviously pushes each side, which drives these two front wheels of the cleaner. So it is important that you make sure that no dirt and debris has the ability to get access into this turbine shaft for if a rock or twigs or leaves get in here and jam up your turbine, you're not going to have the cleaner move at all. So there are some other troubleshooting tips to check before you make it to this point. So again, make sure you guys check out the links in the description to all those other videos because there are other pieces that you want to look at before you make it this far. But if you've tried all those and you're still having an issue, this is going to be your next step. Taking this shaft shield off uh, will get you full access to the actual turbine itself which will allow you to see if anything's in there jamming it up and stopping it from working correctly. So again, make sure you check out the links in the description for this product. Once you actually get a new one, or if you needed a new one, or if you were just taking it off to check, it's really simple to install. It simply slides back on top. It's kind of got its own little fitted portion here. And once you guys get it set where it needs to be, you're just gonna go ahead and hand tighten down each one of these self-tapping screws directly into the frame again and so then that way you guys are good and that shaft is uh, sealed off and shielded off uh, from any dirt and debris. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Kyle with the Pool Supply. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below. We got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.